the most dangerous addiction that has destroyed lives is self-service. And I know my young brothers, my young sisters, even married couples, some of them are highly hooked on self-service. This is a demon. This is a dark shadow that has haunted you for the longest time ever. Most of you don't even like doing it, but you always find yourself doing it. This is one of the devil's vices that has kept you docile and you do not know how to escape. You always find yourself in this abyss of destruction, confusion, emptiness, void in your spirit. And it's all been caused by helping yourself excessively. You shouldn't even be helping yourself. Am I saying you should find someone that you should help yourself with? Both are equally the same. But one whose self-service is at a greater spiritual risk than those who does it with other empty vessels. If you find yourself engaging with anyone who you are not married to, you are an empty vessel. If you find yourself doing any of these activities that are meant for married people, yet you're not yet married, you are an empty vessel. You are a vagabond. You carry a spirit that is foreign. Take it or leave it. I know the society has convinced you all that it's normal. It's right. You should do it to the best of your abilities. And you have been. Kids now start dating at 14, 15, 16. They have already been through so many bodies. By the time they actually get married, they are finished products. Women have a mileage of more than one million, like a truck. And there's always that one unlucky guy who will fall for someone like that. Someone who has multiple spirits following them. The dangers of engaging before marriage is what you inherit in the process. And the dangers of self-servicing is what you are losing in the process. And in both cases, you are compromising your spiritual man. In both cases, you are distancing yourself from God. In both cases, you are dimming your spiritual light. What is the solution to this pandemic? What is the solution to rescue you from this calamity? And for how long do you intend to be helping yourself? I want you to think of it this way. Every time that you release, you are throwing away life. It is indeed life. Because whatever that you are throwing away, it has the capacity, the divine energy to create life. The very same divine power that was breathed in Adam by God in Genesis. It is that spirit, that breath that now manifests in human fluids. And every time you waste it, there's so much that is being taken away from you. That's why you feel weak, you feel empty, you feel tired, you feel grumpy every time you let go of those sacred fluids. And some will ask me, what about if we are married? In moderation, you have to practice the act. The act is not for enjoyment, it's not for pleasure. Of course, you can be defensive all you want because the society has done a very good job in convincing you that you have to enjoy this thing. Everything that you do, most men or even most women, is centered around enjoying this activity, which is meant, which was meant for procreation, for reproduction, not for enjoyment. Look at animals. Tell me if they are constantly engaging or if they only have a season when they actually start engaging. It's only humans that are disoriented. It's only humans that goes against the laws of nature simply because we have the natural instinct to disobey and to challenge that which was set to guide us. And where am I getting with all this? Those who are addicted to self-servicing will never make it in life. We'll never prosper in life. We'll never attract wealth. We'll never attract prosperity. We'll never attract riches. Because you are killing that element that gives you that vibrant energy, that force of attraction of all these material things. You always find yourself employed in the government. Most of you are security guards. Most of you, especially women, they are not even working. They are actually using their very sacred organs for business, for transactions. They are making a living 
treading that which was only meant to help men create life. Do you see how broken the human race has become? That's why we are all docile, the majority of us. That's why we don't have a spiritual connection. We don't have a divine connection. Because that which makes us connected to God is sabotaged. And that is your spirit man. Your body itself is defiled. It's desecrated. It can't host the Holy Spirit. Because you're constantly engaging in activities that lead to the release of the sacred power contained in the fluids. And that sacred power is meant to heighten your consciousness, to help you elevate into different dimensions of the spiritual realms. And every time you let it go, you are emptying the chambers and you are withdrawing the energy and the power that was meant to fuel your spirit man. When you release, the spirit man is always complaining. The tiredness that you feel is the spirit man aching, crying out loud. Look at what you're doing to me. Now when you sleep, you don't even remember your dreams, of which the human is the epitome of creation. The human has the power to connect with God only if he can protect that which animates this human body, and that is the power of your sacred fluid. That's why I wrote this ebook for you. It's meant to benefit you. It's meant to realign you and reconnect you to God. You have to understand the consequences of every release. You have to understand the ramifications of engaging before marriage. And you also have to understand the dangers of excessive indulgence, even if you are married. You are obsessed with so many unnecessary things in these lives, and the most one that destroys your ability or your potential to reach higher spiritual dimensions. Remember, you can't attract wealth if you are operating on a low vibrational frequency, if your spirit is dimmed, you can only attract wealth when your spirit man is constantly active, is constantly directing you to right places, is constantly radiating energy that makes you attractive, that makes everyone feel you, everyone respect you. Look at yourself. If you enter any place, no one cares about you. If you talk, no one listens. No matter how beautiful your ideas are, you can propose 100 millionaires, investors, no one will pay attention because that energy that is supposed to radiate and make you attractive and worth the listen to, it's gone, it's dimmed by the release. This ebook is going to set you up for greatness. These are the basics. Don't read any other book before you read this one. This will form the foundation for your greatness. If you want to conquer in this world, if you want to dominate, if you want to live to your fullest, Go download the EJ Trap. How every release dims your spiritual light. You will thank me later. Go ahead and check on my profile or check in the description and set yourself up for greatness. Especially to my brothers who are hooked, to my sisters who are hooked, to my brothers and sisters who are married but over indulging. It's only meant for two purposes. Procreation and excretion of waste from our systems, not for pleasure. That is not even pleasure that you're experiencing. But the society has made you believe that it is pleasure. Those are just dopamine hits that are distancing you and driving you away from God. Do you care about your relationship with God? Do you care about amassing wealth in this lifetime? Then go ahead and download the EJ Trap how every release dims your spiritual light.